uh, we did speak to Joan Bosco Monte, president of the Brazil Africa Institute for Africa, about the potential synergies between Brazil and countries in Africa. Let's take a look. It's a Brazilian entity based in Brazil, but we do things in Africa as well. So we are based in one city called Fortaleza, in this north, northeast of Brazil, but we have an office also in Sao Paulo. But the main thing that we do is bringing Brazilian and African attention, uh, fostering economic development to various areas. Uh, Brazil is very close to Africa. We have just the Atlantic dividing those two, two parts of the world. But although we are close, Brazil do not know too much about Africa, and Africa do not know too much about Brazil. So what the Institute does is connect people, connect government, and connect uh, enterprises as well. So how do you go about these connections? Do you, do you do programs? Do you, do you train people? How do you, how do you go about this? Uh, it's not easy to, to achieve a very big continent to reach Africa because the main idea that people know about Africa, have about Africa, is that Africa is one single place, which is something that we have to clear. And we want to do this in Brazil. So we we'll, we'll bring to Brazil the idea that Africa is a big continent with 54 countries, and we need to know specifically what we can do in Africa. On the other way, we come to Africa and say, listen, why, why don't you go to Brazil to listen, to understand, to share, to uh, see what you do. And what you do in, in, at the Brazil Africa Institute, we do missions, we bring Africans to visit Brazilians' experiences, we take uh, Brazilians to see uh, the potential of the market, uh, the, the, the possibilities as well. We have events, every year we have uh, uh, some events that we do in Brazil and in Africa, and also we have training. We have uh, the youth technical training program, which is an important agenda in order to facilitate training for young people uh, from Africa in Brazil. Interesting training. So you're basically you're training entrepreneurs. Uh, we think that if you do not start with the young people, entrepreneurs, we cannot go very far because those people, they, they have to be uh, in, in our, in our uh, uh, vision, uh, we have to give them attention. So we bring them to Brazil, young people from 18 to 35 years old, to be trained in many areas uh, because we think that without training we cannot go very far. So that should include some form of capacity building? We, we, have, we, we need to give people the knowledge, have to give them capacity building as you, as you mentioned. Uh, how do you do that? We bring them to the real world. Uh, Theory is important, but we need to go to the practical way. So we bring them to the field, to the companies, to the farm, to the stores, uh, to, to the industries, to see how the real world works. More like on the job trainings? Yes, some kind of, like, some kind of uh, job training, but more than that. They will stay there not just to see how, how the thing works, but they, they go to the ground and they start to discuss. And the idea is when they come back home, they can apply, but more than that, they can amplify. They can bring the idea that they brought from Brazil, in that case, and then they will distribute to others around the place that they live. So when they leave Brazil, is there some sort of mentoring that continues after they've, they've left? Uh, Do you uh, monitor their progress and over time to see how, how they're how they, they putting the skills and, the, uh, and all that into practice? Without mentoring, we cannot go very far as well, because when they come back home, they need to have some, somebody to supervise, to work with them, to walk with them. Of course, we cannot do that forever, this mentoring forever. But as long as they come back home without, uh, with this uh, possibility to have somebody to share ideas, to, to, to clarify doubts, this will give them the opportunity to, after a while, uh, start to do something by themselves. One key problem most entrepreneurs, young or old, have is access to finance. You know, how do you, in, on your platform, you know, help entrepreneurs on this, on this, on this issue? Well, finance is a major problem, not just in Brazil, not in Africa, everywhere, because people need money. I mean, if, if you have a good idea, it's good, but just with the, the idea, we cannot go, cannot do everything. Yes, we need to have uh, financial support. But what we do, we give them advice on how to use the money, not just have the money, but how to use it. Uh, and also we work with the financial uh, uh, entities. And we, we try to give to the financial uh, companies, the banks, etc., the possibility to, to receive those young people when they come back uh, uh, to, to, to their place. And I give an example. We did something with some banks. And I remember we received a, big, a good delegation, a good uh, 
uh, uh, delegation from uh, Tanzania in Brazil, and they came to see in Brazil how we do uh, microfinance, how Brazilian is dealing with microfinance uh, system. And when they, when they came to Brazil to be with us for uh, two weeks, they realized that they should uh, amplify the participation in, 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 in Tanzania in some other parts of Africa. And this is something that we, we do also. We bring the attention from the young people, but we try to, to put them together with the, the bankers. I'd like to get a sense of the scope of the Brazil Africa Institute. Is it which areas do you look at? Agriculture, technology, you know, is it all encompassing or is it just a select, selected few? I called uh, uh, Professor uh, Juma. Uh, he said that for every problem in Africa, there is a solution from Brazil. I don't think that's uh, for every, but for some uh, problems, some uh, necessities in Africa, there are some solutions that we can bring from Brazil in many areas. If you look back, uh, to Brazil 30 years ago, four years ago, you see some uh, uh, same similarities with Africa now in, in agriculture, in health, uh, in education. Yes, we can do many things. We are not just in agriculture, we are not just in health, we are not just in, in education. We do IT, uh, we do uh, 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 business. Uh, so this, those areas are areas that we do in our activities in, in, at the Institute. The youth technical training program that I mentioned to you will be working, is working now in agriculture. But next year we will be working in IT. We are start with trying to get some people to see uh, the aviation industry in Brazil to also start to work with the Brazilian aircraft company, one of, one of the biggest in the world. So we do many things in many areas. And sometimes uh, we are uh, demanded, right? We, we approach to people, uh, giving them the idea that's what we do, but also we receive demands from government and from companies to say and, and, say, and they say to us, why don't you do that? So that's something that we do as well.